Hey everyone, it's 10.15 on the 4th of January, so it's uh, Friday now, <clears throat> I've lost track on the days of the week. I hope everyone had a good New Year's and a good Christmas, I did, just spent it with family. <clears throat> uh, what shall I start with, let's start with health. Um, had my diabetic review just before Christmas, went back a week ago actually to see the diabetic nurse to uh, discuss my blood results, um, basically they're just changing my dosage, they're upping my dosage a bit, so nothing serious, nothing brilliant but nothing serious. So, uh, all's good there. Um, anyway, I've got a couple of items here to show you. One of them is actually related to that. And the other one is related to those. Uh, a YouTuber contacted me. who found my channel a few days ago. It's Cold Start Daily. And he's very generously given me a couple of items for this collection. Uh, I'll just flip you around. I've got the amber version of the blue one. <laughs> I've seen a few slight differences in this amber lens. It's not 100% identical, but they are near enough the same unit. Um, it's just got a different name on it, that's all. But he's also given me this. It's a railway lamp. So that's now the third one I've got in my collection. This one's actually riveted into the bracket. You can't take it out. But uh, it's got this little hanging bracket here. And what they do with these, they hang them on the trains at the train station. Um, ones that are there waiting to be repaired or have a service or, I don't know, Maybe the cleaners put one on there so they don't get taken on an unexpected trip. <laughs> um, but I've put a new battery in this one. So there we go. All oh, nicely works. It's not in bad condition either. I posted a picture of this on one of the um, groups on Facebook for collectors and... Uh, Someone said it looks new, or asked, is it new, because it does look in good condition. No, it's not new. <laughs> but the uh, thing is, with this sort of thing, it would have been used primarily undercover anyway, so it's in good condition. It's got a bit of a wonky bar across the bottom there, but other than that, it's in good condition. Uh, is that riveted in there? Is it screwed in? No, it's riveted in. That's plastic as well, I think. I think that's plastic. Yeah, because I just realised it's got a hole in it. <laughs> so, I was going to put that up on the shelf with the others. I've just got that one down just for a comparison. Um, but I do believe this one actually looks a smidge bigger. It's either my eyesight, look, you, what do you guys think? Does it look bigger on camera? The lens, at least, I'm sure, is a little bit bigger. But I'm pretty certain they will both swap anyway. Not that I need to, but I'm pretty certain they will. Um, yeah, but that one really does look bigger to me. It could just be the colour of the blue one that's making it look bigger. But I've only put one battery back in that. It will work on two fine. Apparently it just doubles the battery life. But uh, this is LED anyway, so I don't think it would matter too much. But what I want to do, because I want to get this on display, I'm going to take flush, flashing light, fluorescent light down, not the flashing light. And I'm going to go to Mum's tomorrow and see if I can find a scrap piece of wood that I just screw at the shelf for that hook to hook over and for those rubber feet there to... Uh, um, mate up with the front of the shelf and that will um should hang up there quite nicely that fluorescent light was only put up there when i had all my table in here and i was going to do all my computer work in here you know 
when I was tinkering with computers and laptops, but that never really happened because I changed my mind and just decided to stick with doing computers in the kitchen. So that can come down now, it doesn't need to be up there. Uh, so hopefully tomorrow night I'll have a, another lamp up there. So thank you very much, Cold Start Daily. That's now my third railway lamp because I've got this one, which is what they call a possession lamp. This would have been put like in a, a shuffle yard or a railway yard, the engineering yard or whatever, maintenance yard. They would use these to basically close off a line. Presume if they've got a train on it that can't be moved or whatever, they would stick this on. So people knew not to direct trains down that line. And I've got a pair up here as well. This is the first pair I got. Which um, I believe are used at like track works on the railway line to mark where uh, where the workmen are working on the track. I suppose it's to let train drivers know that they're coming into the work zone and exiting the work zone. I'm not 100% certain though. But I suppose that would explain, you know, the two different lenses. Unless red means do not enter and amber means enter with caution. I don't know. I wouldn't mind getting... They do those things in like a big board type configuration. I wouldn't mind trying to get hold of one of them, but they tend to go for a nice sum. Maybe during the year I'll find one for a good price and be able to grab one. But they're about as the height of that, I think. So it's quite a big bulky item, but I still want one. <laughs> <coughs> oh, dear me. I'm recovering from a cold as well. I might have to go and just pour myself a fresh drink. Actually, I'm going to do that before I show you what I've been up to in the lounge. I've been doing some tidying up as well, as you've probably noticed. I haven't vacuumed or anything yet. I'm not really that fussy about vacuuming, to be honest. Well, I am. It's just that the head's broken on this one and my Dyson is a piece of shit. <laughs> That's why I'm not keen on vacuuming at the minute. The, um, there is basically no head left for Henry there. It's only that pipe. It's just, it's all worn out. Oh, well, oh, that's why. So, eventually when I get a new head, I'll be able to use Henry. Besides, I think I've got problems either with Henry or that transformer. Because he plugs into a 110 transformer. Um, his motor's not sounding like it's running as fast as it used to and that transformer is making a hell of a hum more than it used to so I've got a feeling that transformer might be on the blink so it might be time to actually find another vacuum cleaner and get rid of these two because like I said that Dyson I was given is basically just a piece of shit probably why I was given it um, <coughs> excuse me. Yeah, my throat is like it's all right till I start talking like this, then it gets scratchy, then it makes me want to cough. It's just driving me absolutely bonkers at the minute. Mind you, the cough was a lot worse yesterday. <coughs> Uh, and not last night, the night before, because I didn't sleep the night before, at all. I tried sleeping sitting up in bed, didn't work. Oh, that feel bad. Right, but as far as cleaning goes, I've done the bathroom. I'll show you that in a minute, but uh, the kitchen actually looks worse than it is. I'll just show you a little, because I don't really... You only get bits of it in the background when I do my PC videos in here, but the worktop just needs a quick wipe down. All of them do. The cooker's the messiest, actually. Same with that window ledge and these tiles, and just a wipe down over here. Get rid of as much clutter that I've got kicking around as, you know, as much of it as I can. These LEDs have got to go back in there. Um, like I said, it's just some clutter. I want those keyboards because I use those for 
when I'm tinkering with the PC is to find something to do with that TV. And I've actually told Mum, because she wants one for the dining room. I actually have no freaking idea why. But I said, well, you know, I've got my stepdad's old TV here that I've actually fixed and got working. <laughs> why don't you get a wall bracket for it and put it in the dining room? It's sitting here doing nothing otherwise. But uh, the problem is... She um, can be a bit forgetful, so she's probably already forgotten that I've got it here. But yeah, just a quick clean up. I'll get these floors mopped as well. Oh, it's not too bad up this end. Get this fridge wiped down as well. So uh, this is another. This is a task for when I have another what I call a home day, when I'm not going down to mum's. Uh, I'm just going to put that on there for a the minute. But, uh, I did tackle this the other day, because I had a home day yesterday and the day before, because I was feeling like death warmed up. So, you know, had a good old, well the bath could do with a bit of a wipeout, but other than that, everything is nice. got some puzzle books for Christmas. So uh, I've got something to do when I'm on the throne. Oh, I forgot to wipe the mirror. That needs a bit of a wipe down as well, but other than that, everything is all nice and clean in here. For a change. I've got this problem, and I'm not saying that as a joke, I'm actually saying it as I do believe it's a problem. Where I just don't realise just how dirty and how bad things are getting. I don't know how to explain it, it's... It's not that I'm deliberately ignoring it, it's just that it takes me ages to actually notice how bad, you know, things are getting. Because, to be honest, my window frames are filthy from sticky tape glue where I used to put the Christmas lights in the window. So that could do with a good scrub. Along with the windows, actually, again. It's hard to do the outside because my arms are too short. I'm too much of a short ass, unfortunately. Right. Yeah, I don't really know how to explain it, to be honest. It's just, I don't notice it. It's not that I'm ignoring it deliberately. Well, I guess part of it is because I think, oh, well, you know, I'll do that later, I'll do that later. You know. Perhaps in my mind I think, oh, it's not that bad, I'll do that later, you know. <coughs> later finally gets here and it's absolutely filthy. <laughs> oh dear, right. I nearly forgot. I'm glad I looked up. I've been sorting through some Lego, so I've got some piles of Lego to put back where it's meant to be. That is a forever job. I'm always sorting Lego. Because even though that box was actually full, that's the one I've just sorted out. So I've got all these drawers to put, you know, where it's got to go. But even though I've done all that, I've still got this lot here. And I've got to do the same thing with. But uh, even though it does help, it's such a te pardon me, tedious, boring job. And it's so time consuming. I think it took me over an hour just to do a little box like that. Just putting it into these sort of piles, ready to go into the drawers. And I've actually still got some box, two boxes there that I've got three boxes up there that I've still got to... No, I just realised that bottom box doesn't matter, it's just the top two brown ones. Anyway, I've put a light up, or I've started to anyway. It's not connected to anything yet. Now, I don't know if you've ever noticed, but as I pan around, you can probably see how much brighter that end of the room is to this end. There's a couple of reasons, well, yeah, a couple of reasons for that. I've only got that one spotlight up there facing this way. And the other reason is, <clears throat> my main light is not dead centre of the room. It's, uh... It's actually further that to that wall than it is that wall, and it's a lot further down that end of the room than it is to the window end. 
which I have to say does actually annoy me. If I was the electrician I would have put that in the centre. Or at least a lot closer to the centre than that one is. But anyway, <clears throat> there was two options I had to do this. I could have just ran a cable to that light. You know, I could have just clipped it to the ceiling like I have done there. You probably can't notice it because I think the shadow is in the way. But there is a cable there. Well, I'm going to put another one up in that ceiling, actually. Not tonight, obviously. I don't think my neighbour would appreciate me banging out with a hammer at this time of night. But that would have meant, of course, that that light would have been on every time I turned that on. And I didn't really want that. Because even though it only really lights that area of the room up the most, I'm up that end of the lounge the most anyway, because that's where all the PC and everything is. <clears throat> I'm only ever down here if I'm working on this, or if I need to work on this, or sort this out, you know. So I've decided what I'd do is run the cable there, all the way along the edge there, down the wall. I've actually clipped it up there too high. I've got to change that tomorrow. I derped. <laughs> Um, I want the switch somewhere here, not up there, but never mind, that was just an estimate. Um, and then basically run the, a cable from the switch, whoops, down the back here, because obviously I've got to pull all this out anyway, to a socket and just plug it in a socket down there. I did buy the cable and the cable clips. Um, it's only this two core cable because it's a double insulated lamp. I've just realised I forgot to clean that lamp before I put it up there. Look how filthy it is. And I said to myself several times, clean it before I put it up there. And believe it or not, even though it's on the ceiling, on this sort of plasterboard stuff, I didn't have to use any special fixings. Those screws have gone straight in the ceiling. I don't know if I actually managed to hit a joist or what I did, but they're up there nicely, so I'm not going to complain. But I've got two rolls of 5 metre, because I didn't think 5 metres was going to be enough. And to be honest, it isn't. It's only it's literally about, I don't know, a couple of inches or so too short. <laughs> Which was a bitch, otherwise it would have been long enough. So um, I will just, what I'll do, I'll cut it there, get rid of that bit of cable and just make a new length from that to go down the wall. But uh, I know the cable looks rather thin, but that's only a twin spot LED that won't be used a lot. It doesn't actually say what the rating is on this, it just says it's CP22 slash 5. 5 meters, 0 0.5 millimeter, 2 core round white. It doesn't say, you know, what the what its power rating would be. It is mains rated, and it is bought from a legitimate supplier, so. This is the sort of stuff you'd use on like a table lamp or something. In the table lamp with a twin. So, not a table lamp, a floor lamp. No, if I actually go through here, I've got a lamp. You know, it's uh, it's no thicker than this stuff. This is just flat. That's the only difference. This is flat flex. But it's the same size as what's through there, so I think it does actually say it on this cable if I can get it in the light. It's a bit hard to see though. But yeah, it is, I can see it's the same size anyway, this is just flat. It's running two lights, so if this same size flex is good enough for these two lights, it's good enough for the two lights on the ceiling. <laughs> that's how I see it <clears throat> so that would give me a little bit of extra light up this end I've been wanting to do something like this for ages but I have left some excess cable in that light fitting as well I've actually wrapped it around the edge reason being may decide to change that light fitting in the future if I find something I like better you know Perhaps something more like those ones up on the wall, but a twin. Or even a triple like that, that would be great to put up there. Might find another triple one like that. We plan to do, well, both to sell and buy at Car Boots this year, because we didn't last year. 
due to mum moving house and whatnot, and that had to take priority, so we just didn't get the time. We managed to do those two yard sale events, but that was it. Car boots, nope. But anyway, I'll keep my eyes open for something like that. Because that's where I got these from ages ago. I just screwed them up there again with a bit of white flex. It's down to a light switch I stuck on the wall. It used to be a single till I put these coloured ones up there. So one switch now does these. One does the spotlights. <clears throat> They've been bloody handy up there. I'm glad I did that. Ooh, right. It's not quite in line with this one, but it's not far off. I need to go that way about another half an inch. It's probably about half an inch out, but I wasn't really worried about that as long as it was close enough. But actually, while I'm thinking of it, I've seen a thing on Facebook being shared about autism and it says like how a lot of us on the spectrum we worry about what other people think especially when we're doing a job for someone else and I feel this as well this is exactly true for me and I actually said how this makes us tend to be recognized as a perfectionist um, because if I'm doing a job for someone else, I am constantly in my head worrying about am I doing it right? Will they, you know, be happy with the work I've done, you know, and all sorts of stuff like that is just going through my head. Um, and I know people will say, well, normal people get that as well, but the thing is with autism... It's a lot worse in the mind. That's the best way I can describe it. It's amplified, I suppose. You know? Um, but I actually find, in my own home like this, I'm not a perfectionist. Like you've seen with that light, you know? It's not quite in line with this one, but it's good enough for me. If I was going to be doing this for someone, I'd make sure that was in line. <clears throat> and I would actually aim for more for perfection because otherwise I'd worry about you know if I haven't done it right I'll, will I upset them you know will they get mad at me you know I don't want them getting mad at me so I want to get this job done properly <laughs> oh, that's pr probably one of the drawbacks with having autism but again, it can differ between people. Um, and another thing I will mention, which is something I've seen pop up lately as well, is that people get this misconception that everyone who's got autism are quiet and barely talk. Well, some people with autism can actually be the total opposite and talk your ears off. Especially when it comes to their favourite hobbies. I could... To be honest, I could talk your ears off about Lego, about die-cast cars, about any one of my hobbies. <laughs> <clears throat> oh. Ooh. oh, yep, who's messaging me? Is anyone messaging me or am I seeing things? Oh, that's all right, right. Uh. <sighs> right. I think I've babbled on enough. 20 odd minutes, I think, from the look at that clock. So, I'm going to end the video here and get it edited because I've made I don't know how many attempts at making this vlog. And either something comes along that I want, you know, to add to it or I've cocked something up or. You know, so, so many different reasons I've had that I've restart this vlog. So, just so I don't get the chance again to do it again, I'm going to upload the damn thing. So, I need to move my Lego cycle shop out of the way. And these two drawers of Lego, they can go back in the 
thingy actually because I'm not using them. Sign into the laptop. Ready. I've got a laptop I want to get on eBay. I don't think I'll get a lot for it, but something's better than a kick in the teeth. Uh, in fact, I might actually put that one up on Facebook, to be honest. But I do have a bunch of shite that I want to put on eBay. Oh, I'll be glad when this cold has done one. Right, anyway, thanks a lot for watching, guys. Big thanks to Cold Start Daily as well. Much appreciated for those two items. And uh, I will talk to you all again soon. Bye.